Hi, this is Tony Veroven, and I am with NAFA, the National Air Filtration Association, and I'm sitting here with Paul Tisch. Nice to meet you, to Paul. Tony, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks so much. So maybe the cat's out of the bag by now, Paul, but you're about to uh, uh, accept a major award, I hear. It's not a leg lamp, though. <laughs> it's not. Well, I did tell the office that it was going to be a leg it lamp. It is? Oh, yes. okay. I was hoping it was, and if it's not, then I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> okay. But no, uh, we at SSC and Texas A&M University are very, very excited about receiving uh, this award and being recognized for our uh, our. Uh, Desire to have clean air. Fantastic. So this is NAFA's Clean Air Award. And so this is awarded to, I think, several uh, NAFA uh, member clients as well, of which you are one. So you work with Joe Fly Company. We use Joe Fly uh, exclusively on the Texas A&M University campus. Tell me. Okay, so let's start at the beginning here. So tell me, what do you do? Uh, well, I am the Director of Maintenance for Texas A&M University. I work for SSC, who is the third-party administrator of the maintenance, custodial, grounds, and engineering design and construction services on the A&M campus. You are the big kahuna when it comes to operations. Uh, they may say that, but I'm just one of a big team. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, uh, so you're winning this award, the Clean Air Award, which is a really cool thing, right? Because it's, I think it's talking about... You know, obviously, there's a lot of things that go into that. Do you, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the criteria that, uh, that you and the Joe Fly Company maybe looked at? Well, just so you know a little bit about Texas A&M University, uh, totally on the College Station campus, we have over 64,000 students. Uh, and we deal with about 18 plus million square feet of conditioned space. Uh, within that space, we have uh, our undergraduate programs, we have a medical school, we have a vet school, and we also have a presidential library. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the university mission in its research, uh, we have a tremendous amount of research that generates tens of millions of dollars uh, for the university that's all basically uh, done on that campus. And so air quality is extremely important, not just for our students, but for those researchers who are, are uh, changing the future uh, today. How important is air quality in your facilities and overall? Well, it starts with the students, and that is extremely important for us because of the, uh, the mission of the, of, of, of the university educating. And uh, we cannot have uh, spaces uh, that are distracted because of, uh, of unclean or, uh, let's just say, on uh, space that's uh, unusable, let's just say that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, exactly. So, so things that you're, I mean, obviously in this world, we, we think about, you know, people that are having breathing problems and asthma and there's pollen and things like that. So you must have taken, taken all that into, into account when it comes to, uh, obviously, health, uh, but also, you know, maybe the region that you're in and agriculture and some of the things that are around that producing. It's a great question, and all of them were important in consideration of when we were choosing our air filter vendor. Um, we start with the fact that we have over 10,000 of those uh, 64,000 students living on campus. Uh, and, and so we start with their needs uh, living in the dorms. We look in the classrooms and we look into the research facilities. And each one of those research facilities uh, demands a different type of air quality. And so we have to look at each component and then build a program around that. And that's what we did. So what are some of the things that, without giving away any trade secrets, we don't want to do that, uh, but what are some of the things specifically that, that you looked at that you, when you worked with? There's always, um, our biggest problem going into when we did this two years ago was the number of filter changes. Just about anyone and their brother could call in a work order and ask for a filter change uh, because they didn't like the color of the filter. They thought it was dirty when it wasn't. And so what we wanted to do was first educate the user, and that would be the researcher, the proctors over the buildings, or the different departments. Once we got them to understand what it meant to filter air out, then we, t we talked about which type of filter we would use, whether it would be pleats or media. From there, we set a standard, and we worked with our utilities department that generates the power and the chill water and the heating hot water on campus that measures all the different flow rates across campus. And we set a determining set point saying, if airflow across a, uh, an air handler hit a certain point, that's when we would change out the filter. And we allowed the vendors to bid it based on that. 
that we would allow you to maintain filters in a place that they would have to be changed out at a certain time but if they did not need to be changed out at that time we allowed them to keep them in there for an extended period of time thus saving them money but i was able to get a fixed price for right. the year right which made it very very good for me for my budget and it looked for me it was a win-win uh, the Joe Fly Company uh, keeps a staff of, I believe, around seven or eight people on campus all the time. Really? That's how many people, that's how many filters we change out on a regular basis. And Fantastic. what's great about having them on the campus all the time is that when there is a problem, uh, Joe Fly is there immediately. And there really isn't much of a delay in the response time when somebody calls something in. Fantastic. What would you tell, you know, another facility, maybe another another institution like like a college or a hospital or things like that when when uh, you know a, 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 a um, air filter uh, provider or manufacturer comes a calling a distributor comes a calling here what are some of the things that you might say here are the questions you should ask them to make sure you're getting a good well since we're being honored and I don't want to offend our guest and our host here today <laughs> I I think there's a lot of misconception in regards to media versus pleats and it's important to me to make sure that I have the same type of, uh, of, of particulate being removed, one way or the other. And basically, I really didn't care if whether or not the vendor wanted to use pleats or media. I wanted to say this is what my air quality had to look like coming out. And if you could do that with a piece of paper, I would be fine. <laughs> Right. But we know that's not the case. And so uh, we had the different vendors provide us the material with the tests, uh, the, the test sheets, because we knew what we wanted. Uh, we worked with the university personnel that, that, that were mostly affected by the uh, quality of filter. And it allowed us to put together the program that we knew that would satisfy their needs and also um, uh, allow a vendor to come in and know what they were going to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Fantastic. Well, Paul, I know I'm going to let you get on here because we have an awards banquet tonight. And, and so I'll let you get on to that. But just wanted to remind people uh, of what the National Air Filtration Association uh, on Clean Air Award is. And here I just brought some my cheat sheet here. The award program is instituted in by NAFA in order to promote and recognize the use of high efficiency filtration products and good maintenance practices. It is. It will be presented, and it will be presented tonight for an outstanding effort in maintaining a clean and healthy indoor work environment or in a school environment while reducing overall operating costs. I think we covered all the bases on that. Tony, I think we did. And again, I want to thank you and, and NAFA for the recognition. Uh, we're very, very proud of that, and uh, we look forward to many more years to come. Very good. Paul Tisch, nice to meet you. Thank you. Tony, thank you, sir. Tony Verhoeven, NAFA. For more information about how the National Air Filtration Association's membership, networking, education, and certifications can improve your career and business, visit NAFAHQ.org.